a string is wrapped several times around the rim of a small hoop with a radius 8 cm and mass 0.18 kg. The free end of the string is held in place and the hoop is released from rest. The hoop has descended 85 cm. Part A. Calculated the angular speed of the rotating hoop. Part B. Calculated the speed of its center. Given the values, the radius of the hoop is R is equal to 8 centimeters. The centimeters convert into the meters. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So the radius R is equal to 0 0.08 meters. And the mass of the hoop is M is equal to 0 0.18 one eight kg the descended height h is equal to ninety five centimeters the centimeters is converted into the meters h is equal to zero point nine five meters the hoop is starting from rest so the initial speed of the hoop is 0 the initial speed of the hoop is 0 so the initial kinetic energy of the hoop is 0 because the speed of the hoop is 0 according to the conservation of energy the initial energy is equal to the final energy the initial kinetic energy of the hoop is 0 so the initial potential energy is there and the hoop is reaches to ground so the final potential energy is zero the loop has kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy so the moment of inertia of the hoop is i is equal to m r square where m is the mass of the hoop and r is the radius of the hoop so the rotational kinetic energy of the hoop the rotational kinetic energy of the hoop is equal to ke rotational is equal to of i omega square where I is the moment of inertia and omega is the angular speed of the hoop. So, according to conservation of energy, the initial energy is equal to, I initial is equal to the final energy. So, the initial energy of the hoop is PE initial is equal to the final energy of the hoop is gives to the sum of the kinetic energy and rotational energy of the hoop. So Ke plus Ke rotational. So the potential energy of the hoop Pe I is equal to M G H the kinetic energy of the hoop of M V square plus the rotational kinetic energy of the hoop is of I omega square of I omega square so the Potential energy mgh is equal to of m where v is the velocity of the hoop. The velocity is converted into the rotational speed. So the velocity v is equal to 
r omega r is the radius of the hoop and omega is the angle speed so the velocity v is equal to r omega so r omega whole square plus half where i is the moment of inertia the moment of inertia of the hoop is m r square and angular speed omega square so m g h is equal to half m r square omega square plus half m r square omega square the initial potential energy m g h is equal to Of m r square omega square plus of m omega r square omega square it gives to the m r square omega square. The mass m on both sides cancels, so g h is equal to r square omega square. The angular speed of rotational hoop is omega square is equal to g h by r square. The angular speed of rotational hoop omega is equal to squaring on both sides. So omega is equal to root over g h. By r, where omega is the angular speed of rotational hoop. Substituting the values, omega is equal to where g is the acceleration due to gravity. The value of the acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.8 meter per second. So substituting the values, root over g is the 9.8. meter per second square into h is the 0.95 meters whole root whole by the radius of the hoop is 0.08 meters the angular speed of the hoop omega is equal to calculated the value Thirty-eight point one four radians per second. This is the angular speed of the hoop. Consider the part B. The speed of the hoop at its center. The speed of the hoop at center V is equal to r omega. Where r is the radius of the hoop and omega is the angular speed. So substituting the value, v is equal to r radius of the hoop is zero point zero eight meters, and the angular speed of the hoop is thirty eight point one four radians per second. V is equal to Three point zero five meter per second. This is the speed of the hoop its center.